my mind's gone a blank. channel um, today what I wanted to chat about was center parks we are going very shortly and previously to setting up this YouTube channel I've been on to YouTube and I wanted some hints and tips about center parks like what the parks are like what to take and there wasn't that many actual videos about what to do so I thought I would make my own because I've been a few times now. This will be our fourth trip. We've been to Woburn once and Longleat three times. So I kind of got the grasp on what to take, what not to take. So I thought I'll do some hints and tips for anyone who's new to go into centre parks and hopefully this will be helpful for you. So we are going, we usually go in May and we go for Harmony's birthday. The weather is obviously in the UK, so it's always unpredictable. We take a mixture of things. A lot of it is like outdoorsy, so we like to take a lot of active wear. The pool there is absolutely amazing. So for the pool, we take the usual summer costumes. I take two summer costumes, because sometimes we like to go to the pool twice, and I don't like to put a wet summer costume on, so having a dry one is perfect. Towels. We also take, for Harmony, she likes to take her goggles. So if you've got children, goggles, floats, um, as well as weights. So if you check them in, they can dive in and grab them. They're really good. Um, we've had no problems with taking stuff with us and the lifeguards saying you can't use that. Um, this year we'll take the GoPro, because I've seen other families take GoPros. And they're really good with you taking photos at the pool. So if you can get one of those um, waterproof bags that you can phone in, they're really happy for you to do that and take photos, which is really nice, so you can take memories. The other thing about the pools is the changing rooms are really nice, spacious and clean. Um, so we've been to centre parks, like I said, four times, and we've been where it's been really great weather, and we've also been when it's been absolutely horrendous weather, but it's never affected what our mood, what we've done there, it's always been great fun. The other little tips and hints I've got is Longley. Before you book, if you can afford to, I would say book your cabin um, or lodge. Just because Longley is a massive park, I'll put the map up now so you can see how big the park is. And it's humongous. Woburn, you're pretty all right with that. You could probably walk around Woburn easily. So if you've got toddlers or really youngsters, Woburn's quite a nice one just to start yourself off with. Longley I love just because it's really old, the forest is huge, so you're like literally living in a forest, but it's massive. Now there is a train that goes from one end to the other, I think it's every half an hour, but it doesn't do that on a Monday or Friday. So arrival, departure days, the train isn't about. So please bear that in mind because we were caught out with that quite a few times. You can hire bikes, we take our own. Um, if you're taking bikes, don't forget, your helmet, bike lock um, for your bikes, but you can hire them there. And the price is £32 for an adult, £24 for a child, and a baby seat is £16. Now, a little tip for that is you do get locks with the bikes that you're hiring, but I would also take like a piece of ribbon or something that you know that bike is yours. Because when you park it up outside the pool or outside, the, say, the leisure centre, there's all they're all the same bikes. So when you come out, unless you you may forget or so, it's a bit confusing. So if you've got something there, think, ah, that's my bike, that would be easier to know where it is. Food, a lot of people say, oh, isn't Centre Park's expensive? It can be, but what we usually do is, there's a Tesco's about 10, 15 minutes, just outside of Longleat Centre Parks. So we just stop off there on the morning before we go and stock up. Now they do have a supermarket on site, which is really good and we get our logs from there, we get the barbecue from there, just so it's not an extra bit of packing that we have to do. And they do do some deals, but on the other hand, they do do things that are super expensive that 
you think oh, I could have got that a lot cheaper at say Tesco's or Aldi. They provide in the lodge already dishwasher tablets, a couple, toilet roll and a sachet of um, washing up liquid. So I would recommend taking more dishwasher tablets, washing up liquid and more toilet roll as well as your essentials like tea bags, sugar, coffee, all those bits and pieces. We stay in the executive lodge where it includes housekeeping every day. So they already provide dishwasher tablets and toilet roll. So you don't have to take extras if you're going in those lodges. If you're not, I would recommend taking those. As well as tea towels. Um, they give you a cloth, a washing up cloth, but I would take an extra one because I always run out, as well as silver foil, believe it or not. And you can get in there from 10 o'clock, but we like to park up Park up in the shade if it's sunny, because obviously you've got food from your food shop that you've done. Park up, then go to the pool. Once we've done the pool, come out, have some lunch, be it a picnic that we've packed in a cool box or at a restaurant there. Then what we do is we then go back to the lodge when it's open, which is from three o'clock, unless you pay early to go into it early. We then have pizzas, it's something easy to do. We get that from Tesco's whack that in the oven and there's nothing no hassle for the evening so other good ones that we could do for the evening is for example like lasagnas um shepherd's pie obviously a barbecue if the weather's amazing um just something that's simple that you can play out all day and then come back and it's easy to shove in the oven the ovens are very temperamental i'm not gonna lie um a few times i have pizzas burnt because i just didn't just it but after a while day two and you're usually fine they have got really good restaurants, as well as a Starbucks on site. Um, you can pre-book for five pounds deposit each, and then that comes off your bill. The one that you can't pre-book is Pancake House, which is amazing. They do the most amazing pancakes, obviously. And they also do like a magician show, which you can pre-book, that gets booked up pretty quick. If you've got children, they love the magician show. In the evening, so after you've been at the pool and you're exhausted, we always find it's nice to come back, put the logs on the fire, light that up, and then get some board games. Um, so we always take Monopoly, um, Jenga, all those nice board games that you can sit around with a family and play. It's, and also they do have a DVD player, so you can take your own DVDs, as well as the iPads, but the board games always go down, and whenever we come back, that's the one of the things that my daughter always says that she enjoys when we go away as a family is playing the board games. The other activities that you can do can be anything from outdoors um, to football, nature walks, to inside rock climbing, tennis, badminton, those activities. They've even got a gym there, which you can pay for. A lot of them are expensive, but there are great things to experience. We've done quite a lot. We've done the rock climbing. We've done the aerial tree trekking. We've done the t indoor tennis, indoor badminton, indoor football, the skating and the bowling. Bowling's amazing. It's um, at night, it's like in fluorescent lights, which the kids have never done that before. It's really fun to do. All of these um, are at a price. Um, but they are really good for the what you pay for and um, there are also some things that you can do for free so you've got the swimming obviously the swimming pool is like I said before epic um, you can also do the parks now they've got some amazing parks that are near each section at the park the one that we found which is one of the best ones is near the pancake house um, it's absolutely huge it's under the forest and my little girl who's nine just loves it she's there she could be there for hours um so that is also great what we also do is in the evening because there's no cars once you've um, unloaded your car on the first day on arrivals day you've got to take your car back to the car park and leave your car there um we take like our own badminton sets and our own tennis sets which we just picked up from being a bargain, nothing expensive. And then in the evening, it's lovely, we just go out on the road and just play that. And we can do that for an hour or so, as well as a lot of the lodges are on the back of like the forest, making dens, spotting the wildlife. So what I sometimes do as well before we go is I do a list of what she can spot. So when we get there, she's got to tick it off. 
other things that also I would do tips would be also got like a man-made beach at Longleat. So if you've got bucket and spade, take that along with you um, because it's hours of fun down there to build. They've also got the ducks, etc. So that's fun to do. Birthdays, anniversaries, take banners, take badges. Harmony's been fortunate where she's had a birthday there a few times and we always put a badge on her and whenever she walks around the actual park the staff are amazing they always are um, intensive to say happy birthday or how old are you or have a wonderful day and in that supermarket or there's a sweet shop there when she's been in previously she's been given sweets and chocolate and just made her feel special which i think is really nice and the other thing i love about the staff there is if they're in a club and they say okay what's your name and you say harmony that's it. They never ask it again. They'll know her name and they'll say it over and over again. I would say the service is on par with, say, Disney to a certain extent. It's just those little bits that you, you appreciate that make it different. Now, once you've been before once and if you pre-book afterwards, I think it's a month after, if you book within that month criteria, you will then receive vouchers for spending on activities there, as well as in the supermarket. And you also get cancellation insurance free. So we usually book our trip straight after we've come back, just so we can get those deals. Um, Cause it does help and adds up a little bit. I pack a mixture of warm clothes, as well as depending if you're in the summer, nice, cool clothes. Um, I also take my own hairdryer. I do provide a hairdryer. I just find it's not that powerful. So if you like a certain hairdryer, take your own. Um, just that's just a preference. Matches and lighters. So if you've got a barbecue and you've got the fire, you've got those to hand to light. Also, I didn't mention with the supermarket, they have mini trolleys. The kids love it. Um, yeah, the kids absolutely love walking around the supermarket with their own trolleys. That's a nice touch that Centre Parks does. Tip. Obviously, you're going to pack all your swimming stuff in your towels. So when you get there, don't pack that in the boots. Pack that somewhere you can grab. Because when you park up the car to go into the park, you don't. if you've got your bikes and all that on the back, you can't get to it. Saying this from experience. Pack your towels your cool box with your picnic to hand so you can grab that, leave the car, go enjoy yourself for a few hours and come back. And don't forget where you park the car. We've done that as well. Why we love centre parks. The relaxation, there's no cars, and the activities. It's amazing. Just get out of the fresh air and just relax. If you've seen the adverts, it's just like that. And I think you can't explain it until you've been. And once you've been, you want to go back. You see on loads of YouTube videos how many families go back each year. And yeah, I'm one of them. We love Centre Park. I hope this helped. I hope it's inspired you to go to Centre Parks. We love it. And yeah, any questions, put it down in the comments and hopefully I'll be able to answer it. Um, like I said, I am going to vlog it. Vlog. Set, um, our trip to Centre Parks and yeah I hope you can come along have a look see what you think and I'll see you next time oh yeah don't forget to click, click that subscribe button and the bell will pop up click on that so you know when I'm posting and yeah I'll see you next time